What's up everybody, hope you are doing well and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be going over how to create a networking manager that's going to be able to tell us if we're connected to the internet or not. So an example of this would be if you're using something like Instagram or Uber and your Wi-Fi goes out or you lose a cellular data connection, you wanna be able to indicate to the user that their internet connection is down and that they need to uh, do something like retry the connection or turn Wi-Fi on, something like that. So we're gonna be going over how to do that and implement that using Swift UI in this video. Uh, and before we get started, I want you guys to know that I have a bunch of online courses available right now. The link is in the description. If you guys follow the link in the description, you will get a massive discount on these courses. Right now they're going for a hundred bucks a pop on Udemy. Uh, if you click the link in my description, you can get them for as low as $10. So if you guys wanna learn how to build stuff like Instagram, Twitter, messaging applications, Uber, go ahead and go and follow the links in the description. Also make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you like the content. I also have a bunch of source code templates available on my website at stephancodes.com shop. The link to the description is there as well. I also introduced some new online courses on my platform as well that teach you how to build more production ready applications with things like server side code, push notifications, and apps that just generally will be able to handle users um, on a large scale rather than building some sort of like MVP or proof of concept style product. So if you guys wanna check that stuff out, head over to stephancodes.com, links in the description for everything. Now let's go ahead and get started. I don't wanna take up too much of your time. So we're gonna be using this NW path monitor to monitor changes on our network connection. So this is just on the Apple developer documentation, guys. You guys can uh, just simply Google NW path monitor and you can see that it's an observer that you use to monitor and react to network changes. That's exactly what we wanna do. If our network connection status changes, we wanna update something in our application, like a state property. So let's go ahead and open up Xcode and get started with the implementation. So I'm just gonna call this Network Manager Swift UI. And you guys should have all of these options selected, Interface Swift UI, Swift UI App, and Language is Swift. Go ahead and hit Next, Create, and let's go ahead and get started. So um, we're gonna start by building out this Network Manager class, guys. So let's go ahead and uh, go up here and we're gonna create a new file. It's gonna be a Swift file. We're gonna call it Network Manager. So up at the top, just go ahead, let me get out of this guy. Um, and this is the completed application, by the way, guys, we just have this screen. We're gonna build out this UI as well. We're just gonna say import network in this file. We're gonna say class network manager, and it has to be an observable object here, okay? And that's because we're gonna to want to update our UI when some property, some, like we're gonna call it is connected when the status of that property changes, okay? So we need to make this an observable object so that we can actually listen for changes on this class. So we're gonna go ahead and create a monitor, and this is going to be NW path monitor. And then we're also gonna create a queue and we'll see how this comes in handy a little bit later. So it's gonna be a dispatch queue label and we could just say network manager. Okay, now, uh, sorry, we need a published property and we're gonna call it is connected and we can just default it to true. Um, so now we're gonna create an initializer. And really quickly guys, this published property is connected this is what we're going to be listening for changes on back in our content view. So when if this is connected property ever changes, it's going to publish that and we're going to listen for changes on our content view and update our UI accordingly. Say, hey, if it's connected, show me this screen. If it's not connected, show me some different stuff, right? So let's go ahead and um, go over what we need to do to initialize this guy. So we're gonna say monitor.pathUpdateHandler and it's gonna be equal to this block. So just say equals block and then path in right there. So basically guys, this path update handler is going to make some sort of network request and it's going to give us back in the callback for that network request this path and we're gonna check and see 
what the status of that path is to determine our network connection status. So we're just going to say self dot uh, is connected equals path dot uh, status equals dot satisfied. So basically, we're saying that if path dot status equals dot satisfied is connected equals true, else is connected equals false. This is just um, a better way of writing that. It's much more concise. It's just one line of code to basically wrap uh, this if else statement up into that. And you would need to say self there as well, but we don't want to do that. Um, you guys could also check the different status uh, options here. Um, you know, and you could just read up on those um, and see what they all are. You have satisfied, unsatisfied, and requires connection. We basically just need to check and see if the status is satisfied. So if, is, if satisfied is true, is connected is true, we're good to go. If satisfied is false, that means we're not connected to the internet and we will then update our UI. Uh, something else we're gonna wanna do guys, uh, go ahead and cut this out. We're gonna wanna say dispatch async and put that in there. And that's because anytime you're gonna wanna update your UI, uh, you're gonna wanna execute that on the main thread. So I think it's a better idea to update this is connected property back on your main thread. So now what we need to do is just go um, below that and say monitor.start and pass in our queue. So this basically just starts the monitoring process on this particular queue that we created here. Uh, so that's really all we have to do for this class, guys. So let's hop into our content view now and go ahead and just create our UI and um, see how this is gonna end up actually working. So before we do anything, just go ahead and create an observed object var uh, manager or you call it network manager equals network manager. And let's just go ahead and really quickly create our UI. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time explaining this stuff because this is just basic uh, UI creation for uh, using Swift UI. So we're gonna create a Z stack. It's gonna have a color of dot system blue and we're gonna say ignore safe area. So go ahead and resume that. Uh, we want an iPhone 11 Pro Max and we should just see a nice blue background coming up. You guys can obviously implement whatever kind of background you want there. Um, and then we are gonna create a V stack because we see here that these things are stacked vertically. We're gonna have an image, a message to the user, and also some sort of like retry button you can add if you want. So we're just gonna say image, system name is Wi-Fi, and then we're gonna say dot resizable. Oops. Let me just wait for this preview to load because it's kind of shitting itself. Let's see, let's see. Anyway, I'm just gonna keep going, it's fine. We don't need to wait on that. Um, we're gonna say dot scale to fit here and we're gonna fit it in this frame of 200 by 200. We don't need the alignment. There we go, we're looking good now. And we're gonna say dot foreground color is dot white. Then we're gonna have some text here, say internet uh, connection looks good. Uh, and then we could say like dot font, dot system size of like 18, dot foreground color, dot white. Uh, give it some padding. And really quickly guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and paste some code in here for creating like this button. And it's just gonna be like a retry button. Uh, so let's just go ahead and resume our preview to see what this looks like. And really, you know, you guys can implement your own custom action handler here. As far as retrying the connection goes, because this network manager, uh, we hit that we have this start command, it's constantly listening or pre periodically listening in some sort of short polling or long polling fashion to uh, changes in our network connection. And that's what it's using this queue to do. So uh, we don't really have to retry the connection, right? Um, it's going to just constantly listen for changes on that connection. So if we reconnect to the internet, it's going to uh, automatically handle that change for us. Uh, so you guys could implement something different here, something like a go to settings and, and re-enable Wi-Fi or dismiss, whatever you want. 
Uh, it's just an optional button that we have here. But anyway, now that we have our UI built out, let's actually go ahead and um, introduce some computed properties. So we want to be able to change the image name to have a slash through it. Um, if we're not connected, we also want to change this connection uh, description text and maybe only show this button if we're not connected. So uh, let's hop back into the network manager and introduce some computed properties here. So I'm gonna say var connection description, which is a string. And we're gonna say if is connected and else. So this is just gonna be you know, what this string is right here. So we can say uh, if we're connected, just go ahead and return, you know, internet connection looks good. Else return, uh, it looks like you're not connected to the internet. And you guys can put whatever, you know, failure message you want here. Uh, the bottom line is how we're gonna use this is going here in this text parameter and saying network manager dot uh, connection description. So, you know, what this is gonna do is if we're connected, um, it's going to, you know, display this message. If not, it's gonna display this message. So now that we have that, let's do the same thing for our image name. So we're gonna say var image name return is connected yes wi-fi no wi-fi dot slash and here we could just go and say network manager dot image name and here we can just uh, cut the code for this button and say if network manager dot is connected and we may want to make sure that's false uh, then we show the button really okay so now uh, all that's left to do What's wrong with this guy? Oh, needs to be a string. <laughs> okay, so now we could run the application. And guys, a lot of times this ends up being buggy on the simulator. I do recommend actually running this application on your phone. But you can see here that I'm not connected or my Wi-Fi is not enabled right now. Um, you guys can't see me turning the Wi-Fi off and on, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn my Wi-Fi on now or off whichever one it is and I don't think it's going to reflect the change in the simulator so let me go back to the preview okay so you're seeing here the internet connection looks good right and if I were to turn it off oh yeah so you guys can actually see there that it, it did change um, for some reason, it's like the opposite effect. So I just turn my Wi-Fi off and it's saying internet connection looks good. Um, and if I turn it back on, then it's saying it's not good. Um, and, but I verified that on my actual device that this works correctly. Um, so you guys just, I like, if your simulator's being buggy, go ahead and test it out on your device just to make sure that it's actually working. And once again, to test it out, you just turn your Wi-Fi on or off. So that's pretty much gonna do it for this video, guys. This is a network manager class that you can now drop into any one of your applications that you have to be able to indicate to the user whether or not they're connected to the internet. So uh, this was our content view. Uh, in a real application, you would have something else uh, for your content view. So what you would wanna do is you could even, uh, you could introduce this as an observed object on your content view and then do something like create a group, right? So you could here say like, uh, if network manager dot is connected else, and then this could be like show, um, show failed internet screen. And here show main content, right? And whenever this network manager um, changes uh, its status, it will reconfigure this uh, view group to show you this screen. You could also implement some sort of banner. It doesn't have to be a full screen, um, but that's essentially the logic behind how you would introduce a networking manager class into your application, guys. So 
that's going to wrap it up for this video. You know, the implementation of it is more up to you. This video is more so about just showing you how to implement that network manager um, with some computed properties and stuff like that. So uh, that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Once again, don't forget to make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and check out my courses online. You can go to udemy.com, search for Stefan Dallas, or go to my personal website at stephancodes.com slash uh, shop or videos for online courses. So thanks for watching this one, guys. We'll see you in the next one. See you.